Hi, kids. So uh, I wanted to read this book for my birthday, which was November 16th, and I got sick. So I, I realized I have not read any stories in almost three weeks. So this one is one that I picked out for my birthday. So it's called Happy Birthday Moon by Frank Ash. One night, Bear looked up at the sky and thought, wouldn't it be nice to give the moon a birthday present? Oh, page is sticking together. But Bear didn't know when the moon's birthday was or what to get him. So he climbed a tall tree to have a little chat with the moon. Hello, moon, he shouted. But the moon did not reply. Maybe I am too far away, thought Bear, and the moon cannot hear me. It's very high up in the tree. So Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the forest. He has a nice canoe. Into the mountains. Now I am much closer to the moon, thought Bear. And again, he shouted, hello. This time his own voice echoed off of one of the other mountains. Hello. Bear got very excited. Oh boy, he thought, I'm talking to the moon. Tell me, asked Bear, when is your birthday? Tell me, when is your birthday? Replied the moon. Well, it just so happens that to my birthday is tomorrow, said Bear. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said the moon. What do you want for your birthday, asked Bear. What do you want for your birthday, asked the moon. Bear thought for a moment, then he replied, I would like a hat. I would like a hat, said the moon. Oh, goody, thought Bear. Now I know what to get the moon for his birthday. Goodbye, said Bear. Goodbye, said the moon. When Bear got home, he dumped all the money out of his piggy bank. Then he went downtown and bought the moon a beautiful hat. You see that top hat looks like. That night, he put the hat up in a tree where the moon could find it. Then he waited and watched while the moon slowly crept up through the branches and tried on the hat. Hooray, yelled Bear, it fits just right. Look, there it is, he puts it in the tree. The moon climbs a little higher and a little higher. And there it is, he's wearing the hat. That's so beautiful. During the night while Bear slept, the hat fell out of the tree. In the morning, Bear found the hat on his doorstep. So the moon got me a hat too, exclaimed Bear. He tried it on and it fit perfectly. It looks like it fits perfectly. He's a silly old bear. But just then, the wind blew Bear's hat off his head. He chased after it. Oh no. Maybe the wind was jealous and wanted a hat too, but it got away. That night, Bear paddled across the river. There's the hat getting away. And hiked through the forest to talk with the moon. For a long time, the moon would not speak to him, so Bear spoke first. Hello, he shouted. Hello, replied the moon. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said Bear. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said the moon. That's okay, I still love you, said Bear. 
That's okay, I still love you, said the moon. Bear looks very sad. Happy birthday, said Bear. Happy birthday, said the moon. That's a silly story, but I really like it. I hope you did too. Nighty night.